Hello, what's up lovely people welcome to my channel once again it's a brand new day and i hope you're doing well because i'm doing well also you're welcome to my channel if this is your first time please do me a favor and do yourself a favor by clicking on the subscribe button and also on the notification button beside it so that you'll be the first to be notified whenever we upload a brand new video okay I, a while ago I, I i shared a video about a lady whose name was given as aisha from the camp of beam nation who resides in the united states of america and she made some allegations some wild allegations about how ov and kelvin boy and black city the manager of stone boy are plotting against stone boy and that black city has been doing a lot of dubious things and stone boy is ignoring them and so she wanted to talk about them so she made a, a lot of allegations and said that black city had spent money that was given to ov the price money that ov had won from the mtn hate maker that he spent the money and then he couldn't account for it and then whenever they went on a show and they performed and monies were given they don't know how he spent the money and stone boy never calls him to come and account for the money so that is what the what is going around so this morning black city has cleared the air and then he has come to explain how all these money was all spent so i want to share the video with you enjoy and at the end please do me a favor once again let me know what you're thinking in the comment section my name is queen rahmat the volume on your radio it's done thank you very all right much. um I, i'm very happy that you have actually called the bluff because it looks like from what um, um aisha said you can't come on air but you have actually right. come on air now black let's go straightly straight to the issues that have been put forward mm. did it, did you buy ov a car or you gave ov a car oh, 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 oh. I think hello. Yeah, we yeah. Yeah, black is still on there. Yeah. yeah. Yes, hello. I'm still on there. I'm here. Yeah. All right. Did you buy Ovi a car or you gave Ovi a car that you thought she needed one? I mean, what is the clarification? Because we are getting a bit confused. Okay, so this is what happened. Um after Ovi won the MTN Hitmaker competition, I mean she won an amount of a hundred thousand Ghana CDs. And then there was like a breakdown of the money. She was giving thirty thousand CDs for a car. And then she was giving, I'll come back to the car. She was giving 15,000 CDs cash to go and open a bank account. And another 15,000 was given to her. Um, she was giving 1,500 CDs every month for 10 months. And then the rest of the 40,000 was for her project. So first 20,000 of that money was used for two of her videos. The Want Me video she has and then the Zadi video she has. So we shot two videos for her. The rest of the 20,000 is still with MTN. We're supposed to continue with her next phase of project, which we couldn't because of the unfortunate incidents that happened. So MTN still has it and is on record. You can check with MTN. Now back to the car. Yes, I mean, whatever I do, I run it by Stone Boy. We agreed to get a car. Myself and OV drove to Tema to pick up the car. In the first place, we stopped with the car was Stone Boy's house. So I don't know where uh, Aisha or whoever is, is getting their information from. And this is what happened to Ovi's money. All right. So uh, was the car a brand new car? Or no, it was, a, it was a used Hyundai Sonata. Used Hyundai Sonata. Yes. Please. And um, that was what the money could um, buy at could, the time. Yes. I, I, no, the car was even 35000 We added 5000 myself and Stoneboy, to get the car. And then later... The twenty thousand budget for the video we managed to squeeze and then refund the company the five thousand back and the fifteen thousand was used for the two videos. That was what we did, yeah. Did you did you get a mechanic to check the car before buying? Because ISA is suggesting that the car could the, have the been... car was in very good condition. I mean I've been driving now. I sell cars myself. You get me? But you see, the handling had a bit of, you know, problems. The handling with the handling, the engine breakdown. And I'm the same person who bought OV, a, a, an engine from Abosokai, to, to be driving her car now, at this minute. OV is driving her car this minute that she spoke to you. Oh, so the car is not grounded as we, we, we have heard. OV drives every day to the studio with the same Hyundai. She comes to me with the same Hyundai Sonata. 
Wow, wow. So I bought the engine from Abusoka. I wrote a check of 5,000 Ghana CD to make sure OV is more trouble. And this is what I get after. All right. So um, I, I want to believe that this was after um, the car had gotten spoiled and you decided to buy exactly. an engine. I got back to America and I went straight to Abusoka to get it fixed. All right, CD. So, um, what about the accommodation issue? That was also very damning. Claiming that you had actually given your girlfriend's accommodation to um, OV ostensibly as a, a rented one. Is that also true? Okay, I want to make I want to make one thing clear. Um, I'm self dependent. I don't need OV's one peswa, and I am very compassionate. I've shown OV and the rest of the guys that work with me nothing but support. So this is what happened. I never touched one peswa of Ovi's rent. Ovi has control of all of the money. Yes, my girl traveled to Europe. She was going to find a life in Europe. And then I said, Ovi, this is a free space for you. Use it. I didn't charge Ovi even a peswa. You can call her back. She will attest to that fact. She was there for about three months. This lady came back. She was like, nah, I can't do the Europe life. I want my place back. We spoke. She came, we got a new place. Nobody knows where OV lives right now. Ask her how we managed to get a place now. I do all this for OV, and then you come there saying whatever with your, your drawling mouth. What, what do you mean? All right, now, uh, B Black City. Now, she, she, she gives the impression that uh, you have actually, um, I would say, misappropriated some monies that um she mentioned kokeke and stuff could you just throw more light on these kokeke what what's the kokeke tell me and i'll explain i'm here yeah she mentioned wako jisika or kokeke she was just ranting that's why i want you to help me clarify. you can call kokeke kokeke has never given me any money for Ovi's video never when obi wanted to make a comeback i paid for her forward video from my pocket she did a freestyle video i paid for her from my pocket and, and um, um, this lady, how close are you with her? Because she claims to have given you monies like... Okay, okay, so this is it. I don't talk to Aisha. She's not my friend. She's Stone Boy's friend. This is what happened. We were in America. We were in New York. She drove from another state to see Stone Boy. She came with two airports. And then I think she gave my brother something. And then she was like, ah, also I was saying, yeah, baby, mouth. Yanko was fagu on me mouth and she gave me eight hundred dollars. I remember. I thanked her for it. I never asked her for no money and I'll never ask Aisha for no money. She gave it to me from her heart. I accepted it and I thanked her for it. That was it. But um so can you ascribe any reason to her seeming anger or um, hatred towards you? Because clearly if you listen to the tone of her voice, she has some beef with you. Was there any amorous or romantic did you notice any thing because for me as a guy from where i sit if a lady gets that angry for no reason there may be something that we don't know are you are you aware or did you see anything of that sort or can you help me out never 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 i mean a day before she came to do that 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 nonsense on 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 her life she even liked my photo on instagram Wow, she so even... ev everything was fine. I want to believe it has to do with the whole Kelvin boy issue, and you see now they're trying to shift the thing to me, but it won't work. Yeah, it won't work. No. You can try to you can try to tarnish my reputation, but my character is who I am. That, that I have control over. All right, yeah, yeah that's very good. Now, um, let's. In fact, I'm very happy you raised this uh, Kelvin boy issue, but. Um, yesterday, some innuendos that Kevin Boy put out. He didn't mention a name. That's why we, yeah. we decide to call it innuendos. But you and I, I, I don't know whether you've seen um, the innuendos suggesting that there's a shaman for you because you stopped the team make beans. You know? Look, I blah, got, blah, blah, I blah, got blah. Kelvin Boy taking off his Twitter and Instagram account. He still doesn't have it at this minute. So, are you trying to create the impression that somebody else did that tweet? No, Kelvin did it himself. But I told you after I saw that this is what I did as, as a head or as a leader or as a big brother, this is what I did. I kept him off it. I told him he's not having the account till everything is fine. That was what I did. And that was what I could do. And I spoke with him. Yeah. But um, did he give you the impression that he thought it was from the BIM Nation? 
I don't know about that. You'll have to answer for yourself. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, um, well, now, um, CD, uh, before I, I let you go, do you believe that uh, this attack by Aisha Modi was triggered by all that happened yesterday? Because yesterday you spoke well of Beam Nation. Actually, I was surprised. Yeah, because... I mean, it happened after, after what happened yesterday. That was when she came out to, to say whatever she had to say. And she had spoken, so that's it. Yeah. Wow. Wow. All right. Um, Black CD, thank you very much for clearing the air on this one. We All don't right, have too much time. Much. Yes. Thank, right. thank you very, very, very much. All right. All right. So, my people, right. you've heard Black CD. Black CD has cleared the air. And um, from what I gather, it's his word against Aisha Modi's word. You know, yeah. Aisha is talking about $900. He's talking about $800. He but there's a confirmation. Yeah, there's a confirmation. Yeah, yeah. And it wasn't like.